Good afternoon, everyone. Want to do another quick video here on why I don't track calories. There's no need for and the main reason being is you have to just make sure that you're eating nutritious food, plain and simple. I know there's a lot of talk in the fitness industry right now about if it fits your macros and intermittent fasting and, and all these kinds of fad diets, but they're not built to last. The only diet that's built to last is the one that you're willing to stick to. And with that said, do my very best to be conscious of the meals that I have. There's no need to be super strict if you don't have to. Because if you're competing, of course you have to track you know, your, your calories, your macros, and you got to be very meticulous about your diet. But when you're not competing, when you, there's no need to do that kind of stuff. The main thing you have to do is just be conscious of what you're eating. And on occasion, go ahead and indulge a little bit. Don't worry about what you're eating right? on the odd day here or there. That's not going to make or break you. The thing that will make or break you is too strict for too long because what it'll actually do is when you're trying to lose weight your metabolism will reach a certain point and then we'll just start to level off so quickly to whatever it is that you're doing whether it be a certain exercise regime or a certain nutrition plan so keep that in mind no need to follow any restrictive diets no need to track anything but do your best to be conscious of what it is you're eating and to a certain degree um, I do recommend counting your macronutrients, proteins, fats, and carbs. I myself keep a mental note of those things, you know, as, as best I can. Like, for instance, when you're taking any sort of supplements like whey protein powder, um, I usually try and keep mental track of, you know, oh, I'm having two or three shakes and they got X amount of protein in them. And then when I'm having whatever, olive oil or peanut butter, I try and keep track of my fats that way. So for the most part, it's pretty easy to track, you know, like your macros. But by no reason do you have to track anything for that matter. So I hope you found this video helpful. I'll be posting more regular videos like these in the coming days. And let me know what it is, other videos that you guys would like to see. I'm totally open to more ideas as well. So thank you again very much for your time. Comment, rate, subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.